So first of all, I want you guys to get maximum value from this presentation. And that starts with understanding why I'm doing this in the first place. And it really comes from experience. I mean, I'm, so I started working when I was 15 years old, different odd jobs, retail, uh, I even did some remote jobs. And throughout my experiences, I've, I saw a lot of conflict. Gen Zers complaining about upper management, upper management complaining about Gen Zers, and rightfully so, you know, a lot of people are having some tough times really connecting and leading the Gen Zers that are coming into the workforce. So that's why I'm here to bridge the gap. You can think of me kind of like a Gen Z liaison or consultant, coach, advisor, mentor. I'll, I'll take any title you're going to give me. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going to start with going over the mindsets and motivations of Gen Z. Understanding how to tailor our leadership practices for them, but also how to connect with them because tailoring leadership and connecting with them is slightly different, right? We're also going to go over a Q&A session. I've dedicated typically about 15 to 20 minutes at the end to go through questions because I know y'all got stories to tell and I want to hear them. All right, we're going to work through those together. So this is a QR code and it's going to take you to an online Q&A platform. Now, if some of you guys have stories and questions from your Gen Zers that you might not want to say out loud. That's going to give you a chance to submit anonymous questions, but also go around the room after to get your questions uh, in person. This will also be up here. We can, we can get that out of the way. Now, first of all, who is Gen Z? Well, we're looking at 1997, 98-ish to about 2012, 2013. It really depends on the source. I mean, you hear things blurring all the time. And to be honest, between the, tw the 12 to 26-year-olds, you know, the older generation doesn't, the old part of the generation doesn't really like to associate never met. Uh, two Gen Zers and they like, you Gen Alpha, are you a millennial? You know, it, it really blurs. So right now we're looking about 30% of your workforce is Gen Z. For some of you, it's definitely because of the entry position. But they do make a significant portion of potential positions as well. And we're going to learn how to deal with them. So. First of all, going over the mindsets, well, sorry, tricks and tricks of these Gen Zs that are coming into your place. They're one of the first generations to grow up with practically 24 seven internet access, right? They got their woo on their eyes. So it's important to know the type of impact has to them, right? It's the instant gratification. It's the mindset that if I need to learn how to do something, I can just Google it. It's the opportunity to be connected to not only their employees, coworkers, and customers, but political issues, international conflict. The average Gen Z is more in touch with these issues than you might think. And that has a per their attitudes in the workplace as well. Now, they also have an entrepreneurial and a slightly innovative spirit. I mean, this is due to, in part, social media, but they have the opportunity to make money from their phone. There's more options than just traditional work nowadays. Also, it's being carried into place. Now, also seek meaning and purpose. It's super, super important for them that they understand why they're doing something, right? Just because this is the way it is, or you know, we've always done it this way, is not good reason for them to accept their job. Especially to start thinking out of the box. They want to understand why and how, right? Not just the how. They also care about issues. Diversity pillars really impact their attitude, corporate responsibility, all of those towards their employer. They also value the DEI initiatives, right? As you may know, Gen Z is one of the most diverse generations out there. From different backgrounds, identities, etc., and these are 
copy that wherever they go, it's not just the workplace. They all thrive in collaborative environments. They know two heads are better than one, even though there are times to work. Are very, very surprisingly enthusiastic about cross functionality. Now, not to be confused with doing two different like to feel useful and that is as that able to do more than one skill right uh, so kind of serves as a break from the monotony having gen zers thrive environments is really good for a place if used right and they're also something osmosian I like to use an osmosian is someone who is extremely absorbent or they adapt qualities from different people and situations through osmosis. So if you put a Gen Z in different environments, they will quickly absorb and take after the qualities of the different people in those different environments. So if you take someone in the workplace, for example, and put them amongst different generations, they'll adopt some beliefs from Gen X, some work habits and lifestyle changes from the millennials, some ideas and beliefs from the baby boomers, and they do that really quickly. They have their identity formed from other people. For example, in my household, we got members of four generations, Gen X, baby boomer, Gen Alpha, and Gen Z. So the Gen Zers are looking at all these different people in their life and just you know, picking different things that they agree with and forming their character that way. And that's a really, really interesting and sometimes tough thing to deal with. It makes for a very unique character you're dealing with, right? So, understanding the mindsets and motivations of Gen Z, right? This is what's going on in their head. And once we understand them, then we can tailor our leadership and connect with them slightly better. So, first of all, we mentioned the social impact, right? They love to know what they're doing, why they're doing it, who it's impacting. And as a result, they have a natural inclination to just do better, right? If they understand what their work is going towards, well, they wanna do better naturally. They also value independence and support, right? Going back to the uh, need for a social connection, but also independence. Knowing that they have a safety net to fall back on from their leaders when it counts gives them the confidence to do the bold things, to take the risks, to innovate where needed. Competitive pay and the work-life balance, right? Now, 70% of Gen Zers say that a flexible work-life balance and competitive pay are very, very important to them while looking for a job. Some may say non-negotiable, right? I have two friends who are currently homeless because they would rather stay sleeping in their car than working at McDonald's or working at a public library, right? They would stay on their hill and stay true to their values before caving and you know adopting different uh, beliefs than their own. And in some environments, that's extremely powerful. People who stand up for themselves and stand up for what they believe in. And in some environments, it can cause for some conflict, right? And we're gonna be deeping, uh, diving deep into that in just a moment. Now, they also, please. They also really, really value opportunities for growth and development. Without opportunities to grow within their role, they feel like, you know, I'm just gonna do the same thing forever, right? There's, there's no movement, there's no opportunity to be better, to upskill, reskill. There's no point to this job. I'm moving on to the next one. And that is going to allow them to, again, become more viable in your workplace. Opportunities to grow, and we'll talk more about how to do that later. Connection and collaboration go with the social connection again. Just as a reminder, this is what is going on in their head. And then, of course, seeing others lead by example. This is huge, right? Remember, they are osmosians, so they see people leading by example. Being the emotional, intelligent, agile, conflict resolving, outside the box thinking individual in their environment allows them to absorb those qualities and do that really quickly. It also serves as a purpose of motivation, right? Have you ever done a, an entry level job and your boss just doesn't care? They tell you to do something and kick back on their phone in the break room or something and just hide a toll on a Gen Z. -er. So seeing others lead by example, especially today, 
goes a long way. Tailoring your leadership practice for the is a little bit tricky because as with any good leader, we understand that every person is different. There's no such thing as a cookie cutter. Every, no one is going to follow the plan. So it's difficult. But break this of Gen Z so you can have an idea of where to work. Now, I mentioned is documentation. Now, this doesn't have to be a, a big fancy document that you store in your database or have to get multi-factor authentication set up for. This is something that you can have on a piece of paper, a sticky note on your desk about different people. Uh, of course, you wouldn't really sticky note, but just you know, John likes to be communicated via text. Catherine likes before I schedule on her. And just little things like that goes a long way. So now this is how we start tailoring leadership for Gen Z. And of course, number one is the pay. But pay isn't just money. Gen Z understands the type of economy we're ready to burn. So Number one is post the pay on the job listing. Salary transparency. If people are not knowledgeable of what they're getting into, it's going to be more headed you, your department, your applicants. Starting up is going to go along with getting the right candidates as well. Communicate pay structure, limitations and resources. If you are in an interview and someone, a Gen Z, is negotiating a salary and you're thinking this person is delusional, why would they ask for this amount of money? Be a small institution. If you would communicate the structure that they said you have, it goes a long way. They, they're, they're empathetic, they'll understand. And if not, well, you, you got policies for people like that, right? Also, professional development, certifications, training, uh, different libraries like O'Reilly and other Pearson uh, tools will allow people. I may not be getting paid very much, but I can use the resources that they're providing to upskill and move to another organization. I like the leadership. I like how this person's talking to me. I like the community here. We have opportunities. Also, the reason that these standards is the economic, what? economic and social impacts of social media, right? They are in tune to happening throughout the world on in the economy, right? They know that housing prices are increasing. Job huge is not keeping up every two to three years, you'll make huge amounts of pay bonuses. And as a result, they're keeping all this in the back of their head when they're applying for jobs. And it's a responsibility as a leader to do your best to communicate why you are doing what you're doing in terms of pay. Also, design to own map, the independence. Who doesn't love to feel like they're innovating, they're trailblazing, right? That creative out the box spirit is something that we can actually cultivate and grow like a skill. And that skill comes from practice. So giving people independence, allowing them to try and fail on their own will give them opportunities to build that skill of innovative thinking by right, going above and beyond, but they need to do that for themselves. But of course, give them the safety net, versus support when needed. It's just a conversation, a phone Can I have anything to support you here? You know, I have two weeks working on this project, right? Any thoughts to make it better? And if you're fine, they're constantly reaching out need help, hey, educated, that they're constantly reaching out to you, hey, need help, hey, need, how do you do this? Where is this located? I can't find this piece of paper. Hey, uh, what's what's Mary's deal? You know, she's, she's giving me attitude. Then you can have some regular feedback sessions or perhaps some formal training to actually get this Gen Z on their way. But the, the independence is super, super impactful. Now, back to the purpose. Now, what does giving a Gen Zer purposeful context look like? Well, it's explaining how the tasks that they're doing on day to day impacts other people at the organization. Impacts what happens when a patient is their care. Follow the patient through the hospital or to follow the paper trail. Other employees and coworkers that their reports are being read by. 
but they feel that accountability, they feel that means the supportive team member, and that is how you influence you to think like an upper management leader. See the big picture. Share stories about how your work, your Gen Z work is impactful, right? Your personal experience goes a long way. You've been in the industry 5, 10, 15, 20 years. I'm sure you've got many, many amazing, compelling stories that you can do to win this Gen Z over. Of course, communicating your company mission, your values, your social impact is, of course, going to go a long way. The NASA space station in Florida, I believe, space station, the um, NASA facility in Florida. And during his tour, he had saw a janitor walk in, in the hall the opposite direction. And he said, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Or what do you do here? The janitor goes, I'm putting a man on the moon. So at NASA, perhaps other entry-level positions, allowing them to discover how to network and build relationships on their own. But also, peer networking and mentor networking will allow them to learn that it's bigger than themselves, that they have an impact to people less experienced than them, but more experienced to them as well. Now, Gen Z also likes to feel useful and acquire skills but sometimes they don't know if they're doing enough to make an impact. And giving them chances to be cross-functional will allow their impact to spread throughout the organization more than just their role. And that is another way we can help contextualize what a gen